welcome to the vlog, everybody. This is our Saturday morning. We're at Target now because Keaton has birthday money from our dear Jean. She's so excited. So we're gonna do a little bit of shopping here. Kennedy just drove us here. Went through her first wreck. No. Wow. She oh. didn't get in the wreck. <laughs> <laughs> she drove through the first wreck that had already happened. Barbie section. This one looks like a mad scientist. It's a dentist. It's a dentist? So many decisions. Or you can get little things. You can give you one another bloom doll. I don't know if you really play with that. We should have asked Jim to come here and shop with you. This is really hard. What's that? Secret crush? No, you can't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Okay, what are you getting, Keaton? I get it. I got this LOL jelly doll. Okay. And I got this Stacy Barbie. Because you don't have a Stacy Barbie, do you? That's so cool. Awesome. So is she like Skipper's sister? Or friend or sister. Is her sister. She's so cute. She kind of reminds me of you. Like maybe that's what you'll look like when you're a teenager. Do you think? Crazy. In the car, yes. I can open like the tiny pieces. Well, I don't know. I, I just... can put them in the backpack. Okay, probably. Yay. Now, of course, we have to look for baby stuff. No, da boss. <laughs> da boss. Okay, open, baby stuff. Get out of this torturous open. toy section. Just taking a quick look through the threshold, hearth and home section. So many cute things. I really want this. This is like so soft, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's like a lamb sheep or something. Okay, can you believe we didn't even buy anything for the baby in Target except for I bought some Drift, some baby laundry detergent. Um, there wasn't anything I really saw. And that Target, I don't know, it's always like a little bit unorganized. And plus it was a Saturday, so it just, super busy. Our main point of going was so Keaton could spend her birthday money from Sweet Jean. Petty's back here already opening up her Stacy doll. All right, so we got to Red Robin. There's a line out the door. So we don't know how long the wait is, but Shad went to ask. He's coming right now. We'll see what the verdict is. We have a couple other options in case it's too long here. Well? She said 15 to 20. So, I don't care. There might be a wait somewhere else as well. Okay, well, it's up to you guys. Do you want to wait for 15 or 20 minutes, or? I don't 15, care. 20 minutes. By the time we get to another place, care. it's going to take 15 or 20 minutes, so. I don't care. I don't care. The other option was Cheesecake Factory, I think. Cheesecake Factory does sound really good. I want Red Robin. <laughs> What do you think, Chad? Um, I was worried about Cheesecake Factory that time we waited forever. Oh yeah, it was horrible service. But they just opened, maybe it's better. Um, I wonder if they have an app where you could check in online and just see what their wait is there. Yeah. Okay, so Chad just called Cheesecake Factory and their wait is 25 to 30 minutes, so we're staying put at Red Robin. Yeah. And yeah, Keaton's super excited about that. <laughs> And we're in, and Kennedy got a kids menu. <laughs> Me too. Well, yeah, you too. <laughs> Are you gonna order off the kids menu? I don't think so. Shad asked, they brought fries. So Kennedy also got a kid's cup of water. <laughs> Evidently she looks like a little kid. <laughs> Not to me. You look like you're 15. All right, we got our food. Keaton is already digging into her. Is it hot? Yeah? Mac and cheese and oranges. Keaton and Kennedy were like starving. Good. Yeah, thank you. Kennedy has been craving a pineapple burger. It sounds gross, but it's good. Can we see it? 
The oh. first time I had it was in Hawaii when we were getting James. They have Red Robin in Hawaii? No, it was like actual Hawaiian. Oh. Fancy. Uh, so what's this like compared to there? Not quite as good, <laughs> but it's close, right? Right. It's I see the pineapple again. right there. Yeah. Cool. Shad got his uh, whiskey. No, you just got a yeah no, whiskey river yeah. Barbecue. barbecue, and barbecue. he got a some pink there in his hamburger. That's the way he likes it. Well, okay. Yeah. And I got a big Southwest salad, and these are like fried jalapenos. They're so good. Okay, we're done with lunch. So we were gonna go to Big Lots, but right here in the same parking lot of Red Robin is Home Goods and Ross. So I think we're just gonna go check out these two stores. Thing new I haven't had to do yet. Wait in line to get into a store. And we're in. Oh, those are cute. Anything here in the fall section? Spooky stuff. There's spooky stuff. Kennedy just saw this pillow and she's like, oh, it's creepy. She's like, it looks like spider legs. It really does. Get it. It's gonna get you. <laughs> it is creepy. It has a lock and then get trick the kids that that you could open it, but there's but there's a sticker that it doesn't open. A makeup set? Oh, you're so tricky. All right. Home Goods. I washed is... my hands. Oh, thank goodness. Home Goods is a very nice and expensive. Or, it's very nice, but yes, it's expensive. So we're after Ross. I was just telling Kennedy and Chad today that I wanted like a super soft blanket for the baby. I have all of these, and they're only $4.99. So I'm going to get this gray one. $4.99. going to get a shark one. <laughs> for a my baby fur blanket babies. for Rainy. My fur baby. <laughs> all right, that's fine. Okay, we are home. I am exhausted. <sighs> I'm tired. It's six. It's about quarter after six. So we've been gone since 12 and shopping. Keaton is already digging into her LOL doll. There's 15 surprises in there. Look at the outfit. Oh my goodness. There's so many tags. That's so cute. And uh, Kennedy got Rainy a new dog bed. So she got that at Ross. And she also got her the shark blanket. So Kennedy's trying to get it all. Oh. What do you think, Rainy? You got a new comfy bed? I need a new bed, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got the hiccups. You like it? Is that comfortable? What is the doll? What is it? That's a pale thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I see the eyes. She kind of looks like Dora. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Hiccups. Hey, did you miss me? Cute. Did you miss me? You Head missed me. Off the... oh. Oh, head popped off. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Sorry we didn't vlog the rest of the day yesterday. We were like out and about doing things. Good and... morning, everybody. <laughs> I'm so tired. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I'm so tired and like my just my whole body hurt. I was so sore. So um, we just like vegged the rest of the night. Um, so it's the next day. We are getting ready to go to church.
headed to pick up groceries from Fred Meyer, and then we're gonna grab lunch at Dairy Queen. You guys, is that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you brought your new doll. All right, we're gonna pick up Dairy Queen for lunch. Take it all home. Look at this girl driving. Like literally a, a just like I don't know. Blows my mind every time. I'm like. My kid is driving the car. How does this happen? Okay, we're at Dairy Queen. You want any sauce? So messed up. Um, no sauce. No sauce, please. Thank you. No sauce? Anything else? I believe that's it. Thank you. 3378. Thank you. Thank you. It's just so nerve wracking, and their speaker wasn't working, and like. She was like, oh, clang, man. clang, 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 <laughs> something. And she couldn't hear me. Yeah. She was making too much noise. Okay. okay, no. Okay, we got the stuff. I think everything is right. I'm hoping that the blizzards are mixed to the bottom because our Dairy Queens never mix the blizzards good, which is so annoying to me because you pay, I don't know, it's almost $4 for like a small blizzard. And then it's so funny. Can, can, can I see your cup of ice cream? So the kids meals come with a like kid size ice cream cone or a dilly bar. And one time we, we always ask if we can just have it in a cup instead of a cone. They're so confused every time. So they literally just gave her a mini blizzard cup full of vanilla ice cream, which is way more than you would get in like a kid size ice cream cone. It's so funny. Chad got chicken. Oh, they messed up. Oh. Chad ordered, so Kennedy and I ordered chicken strips, like a five buck lunch chicken strip. Chad ordered a cheeseburger, five buck lunch. Ugh. But it's fine. Oh, it's, it's so frustrating. I know it's just a little thing, but you know when you're paying for something and it's not right, it's, it is a bummer. Not that I never made mistakes when I worked at Dairy Queen, because oh, I sure did. And I would always feel really bad, but it's just every time we go to this Dairy Queen, they mess up. Whatever, Shad's like, I'll pull out a bun and make my own sandwich. Um, and then we got groceries here, but we're gonna eat and then We'll do the grocery haul. Don't go away. We ate our lunch. I haven't ate my blizzard yet. Kennedy is eating hers. She got a pumpkin pie blizzard. She said it looks like it's mixed all the way to the bottom. So let's hope that's true. Um, we're watching the Broncos right now. There's a minute 30 left and they're down five points. So it's not looking good. You know, I still love my Broncos. I'm gonna do our grocery haul. And actually, we bought quite a few things even yesterday when we were at the stores that we didn't show you, so I wanna show you that too because we got some baby things. And So I mentioned that we're gonna make some chili and I'm gonna get it in the crock pot. Like, as soon as we're done with this haul, I'm gonna get the chili going so it can be ready for this evening. I will show everything that we got at the store today. For the chili today, I actually needed a couple of spices, coriander and paprika. I thought we had paprika, but we couldn't find it. So we got paprika, coriander, we're gonna have Mexican food, I'm sure, sometime this week. So I got a can of refried beans. We needed some vegetable broth, so I got a container of that. This stuff is for the chili today. Tomato sauce, Rotel tomatoes, which I think I only need one can, but it doesn't hurt to have an extra, right? And then I got, let's see, one can of dark red kidney beans and two cans of light. I'm not sure if we'll put both cans a light in the chili today. We'll at least put one dark, one one light. And then the recipe also calls for some beef broth. So that stuff is all for the chili. We needed some new some new honey. So I got a little honey bear. Kennedy had asked for some kind of easy quick lunch and just you know she doesn't have a ton of time between classes at school. I got this for her, the chicken and mini round noodles. The Broncos just lost, in case you want to know. I also got some Smucker's caramel syrup. We like this, the avocado oil mayo. So I got some of that. This was one thing that Fred Meyer said they were out of. I'm trying not to gag, you guys. Ah. I typically order organic grass-fed ground beef, and they said they were out, and they didn't offer a substitution, so Shad ran into the store. And he said, in fact, they were out of the organic grass-fed ground beef. So he just picked up two of these because we need one today to go in the chili. I don't know why I just got this for James. 
because maybe he'll like it. Apple, pumpkin, and cinnamon sucky baby food. But, well, not sucky, just the kind that you suck. <laughs> it sounds good. I just thought, I don't know. It was like they were on sale, this beech nut brand, and I thought, oh, I'll just get them that. So we got some organic low-fat milk. This is the iced coffee that Kennedy has been drinking, and apparently Shad has been too lately. So <laughs> that's okay. So yeah, it's a, a lot cheaper to buy this than go to Starbucks every day or wherever. So anyway, and they both like it. So we got another container of that. Produce wise, I'm the only one that likes tomatoes. So we got one Roma tomato for Mexican food and they did a good job. It's not bruised or scratched or anything. Then I got four gala apples, three avocados, which they're pretty hard. Um, we're gonna see if we have a paper bag that we can stick these in and hopefully getting them a little bit more ripe. Some green onion that will go in the chili today. A little vegetable tray that we can set out tonight with the chili. Mm -hmm. I got a big two pound package of strawberries and they look good. I don't see mold or anything like that. So we go through strawberries pretty fast. And then I got three of these Envy apples, which are so good. Um, oh, that's not a bruise. I thought maybe it was a bruise. They're also not cheap. So I only got three of them and I, they're just, oh my gosh, they're just delicious. Yeah. They're called Envy apples from New Zealand. They're delicious. And we got, um, a head of green leaf lettuce. Kennedy also asked like maybe if I could just get some sandwich stuff. So we got some lettuce, some sliced Tillamook pepper jack cheese. Then we got some smoked turkey from the deli, package of whole wheat bread, some raspberry Oikos Greek yogurt. This is my favorite yogurt, I love it. I got these Kroger brand of corn chips for our chili tonight. We're gonna make potato soup this week, you guys. It's fall tomato soup, so that calls for cream cheese. So I got a two pack of cream cheese. Then we got a container, the squeezable, sour cream. We love that. Here's another one for Kennedy. <laughs> for an... <laughs> That was Kennedy. <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> this Panera Bread at home mac and cheese. So that's another quick lunch that she can make for herself in between classes. Then we got some large brown eggs, bananas. <laughs> I, asked, I asked for them to be a little green. They're, they're very green, but you know, in a day or so they'll, they'll ripen up. And then we got some Gold Peak unsweetened iced tea. We just love this stuff. I was have been out of my prenatal vitamins for four days. What? I know. And I looked on Amazon. They didn't have any. And these are the kinds that I usually take. So anyway, I got a new container of those. Kennedy needed some more shave gel. So that's for Kennedy. And then we needed toothpaste. So one for Shad and I, one for Kennedy. And then frozen wise, all we got was some classic country vanilla ice cream. I got two tombstone frozen pizzas, a four meat, and then a four, oh, five cheese. So, How many yeah. cheeses are there? <laughs> five of what them. What kind are they? Mozzarella, cheddar, Parmesan, Asiago, and Romano. That's fancy. And then, which are for the potato soup. So that is everything that we got today from Fred Meyer. That's our grocery haul. So I contemplated making a chili recipe in my crock pot. Nope, in my instant pot. But I decided I really, I didn't want to do that. I want to do it in the crock pot today and just let it simmer for a long time. And this is the very first recipe that popped up on Google. Slow cooker chili. It looks really good. Shad is here, he's gonna ground the ground beef for me and then I will take care of the rest. But thank you for doing this for me. So doesn't that look good, you guys? I think so. This is everything you need. Olive oil, ground beef, yellow onion and garlic, canned tomatoes with green chilies, tomato sauce, beef broth, spices, chili powder, cumin, paprika, sugar, coriander, salt and pepper, cocoa powder, which it says the secret ingredient adds depth. Don't worry, it's not going to taste like chocolate, so I'm gonna do it. 
and then dark and light kidney beans. So that's the recipe we're gonna do today. Okay, every time I see Stacy from Let's Cook Y'all, every time I see her add oil to the pan, she always does this. Oh yeah, it's hot. I'm assuming she's making sure that the pan is hot before she adds the oil. So we're just gonna do so a couple of tablespoons of oil. That might be a little bit more than that. Shad's got the ground beef going. Okay, then we're gonna add the onions. Oh yeah, that's fun. That sizzle sound. It's always fun. Saute away, wifey. Woohoo! Shake that how it. You do with that? Shake it. Okay, we got the onion and the garlic in there. It's not as much as I thought it would be, but that's okay. And we're gonna add the ground beef. Is that hot? No. Here's tomato sauce. Scrape the rest of that stuff out of there. Okay, and I am gonna use both cans of these Rotel tomatoes. I didn't open them. I mean, I opened them, but not all the way. There we go. And the other can going in there. <laughs> it's hard to do. I should have cracked open with the spoon. All right, thanks, Chad. Oh, I almost cut you. Okay, and then the beef broth. Wowzers. Mmm, you're really doing it up fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now for the seasonings. I'm not sure about this. Let me know if you guys have ever heard of a recipe and that this just adds depth. <laughs> but it calls for two teaspoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. So there's one. I don't want to get too much. <laughs> And two. Okay, we have the chili powder, we have the paprika, coriander, cocoa powder, uh, cumin, or cumin, sugar. And then it says to add salt and pepper. So that's the salt. We'll add more later if we need to. We can actually add anything more later than if we need to. Here comes the fun part. Let's stir all this up. Have it start smelling like chili in here. Chili and cocoa powder. Mm. I smell the cocoa powder. <laughs> I can see how it would give it depth. What's depth? You know, like a hearty, like, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna rinse and drain the beans and add those. All right, and go the beans. Whoa, it's like, that's the fullest this crock pot's ever been. And she throws the drainer in the sink with authority. That's right. <laughs> that looks good. Got some cooking going on up in here. Yeah. Woohoo. Aren't you proud of me? Homemade. I am. Chili. Maybe we want to take this elsewhere. <laughs> like to a potluck? <laughs> no, like when you're done there. How about you and me? Uh, I gotta do my school. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here is my blizzard from Dairy Queen. It's been in the freezer just for a little bit, but it's still soft. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I have a paper that I need to write that's due today. So I'm gonna write my paper and eat my blizzard. Okay, you guys, I finished my schoolwork. Um, I just have one paper I had to write today, so all my assignments are in for the week. Um, now the rest of the day is, I don't know, whatever we want to do time. But I am smelling this chili. I feel like it doesn't smell very good. But Shad said he smelled it. Oh, it smells like chili. Yeah. I wonder what I was smelling. You know, sometimes my smell is off from being pregnant. It totally smells like chili. Yeah. I was all worried because I don't think I've ever in my life smelled like what did I say, coriander? Um, <laughs> and so that, maybe with like the cocoa powder, I was like, am I smelling something weird? Is this gonna be a gross chili? But I don't think it is. It smells really, really good. It's looking good in there. After I finished my school, I was like, okay, I need to lay down and take a nap. I was kind of having a hard time staying awake while I was doing my paper. So I laid down for maybe 10 minutes. I was like, I can't sleep. <laughs> So I jumped up and trying to get, just get some stuff done now. I wanted to show you guys that we got Keaton's homeschool stuff in the mail. I ended up ordering her 
pre-K homeschool from Memoria Press. It's like Christian-based homeschool curriculum. Thankfully, I mean, everything I was seeing was like really expensive. The free, there are some free options, but I don't have time to like come up with lessons and all that kind of stuff. So for a two day preschool plan for the whole year, it was, I don't know, $160, which is way cheaper than what we were gonna be paying per month for her preschool. And so I'm excited. We're gonna get this started this week for her. It literally says that it comes with like the teacher's guide. So alphabet flashcards. Um, I guess if you buy things separately, like these would have cost $10. I bought the whole package, which was a better deal. Yeah, it comes with everything that you need for each lesson. Numbers and colors. So you don't have to do any printing. Two-day junior, junior kindergarten curriculum manual. So I'm hoping this is literally going to say, okay, day one. Just so to make sure you have everything. So yeah, I will go through all of this. Uh, Kennedy is also going to help my very own scissors. So it does, it tells you every day what book to use. So that is awesome. That's what I needed. I could have gotten some free stuff, but gosh, I don't have time to do all that, to like schedule it out and God bless those of you that do. And then I mentioned that we went to quite a few stores yesterday. So I'm gonna show you our haul from there. Um, what we got from Target. Just needed a new little rug here. I need to cut that off, that's gonna bug me. But we just needed a new rug for our slider just cause the dogs come in and out of here. So that was 10 bucks at Target. We're also getting stocked up on baby clothes, baby boy clothes. So I got some drift so we can start washing these and getting them organized in the dresser and closet. Okay, from Ross, I got a few little baby outfits. So I'm very much into plain. <laughs> That's about as big of an animal as I went on little baby Rufus's clothes. So um, I got this cute little, I don't know, I guess they're pajamas, but it was only $4.99 and it was it's made by Carter's. And then we found this cute outfit that it comes with the jacket and the little pants and the onesie. And is there something on the onesie? This is also by Carter's, I think. Oh yeah, it just says hello on there, a little hippo, so it's pretty cute. This is three months also by Carter's, so that's cute, cute little outfit. And then the last thing I got, Shad just loves Nike. So um, they actually had quite a few Nike things, but I thought they were pretty tacky, a lot of them. And not that Nike is tacky, but some of the outfits they had were tacky. So this was only $9.99. And this is six months, I believe. Yeah, six months. So, and it's just another pair of um, pajamas there, which I am all for. I love jammies. I love comfy clothes. You know, he's gonna be born in February, so it's gonna be chilly here. Oh, and then we also got, I've been looking for like a super soft, cuddly blanket, and I actually might find something else that's even fluffier than this. But I think I think I showed this to you guys when we were there. It's only $4.99, so I got that for him. And then I got this throw for our living room. I didn't realize it like matches the couch so much. Kind of wish I would have gotten a cream color, but that's okay. Um, this is the throw that I got, and I'm gonna try and make it super cute in my basket. So we had a friend come over to watch the football game tonight. Seahawks won, by the way. It was a great game. Um, I didn't get a good video of everything before it got eaten, but that's our chili. We had the Fritos, some cheddar cheese, some green onion to go on top. We had a vegetable tray. And then I just made some cheese and crackers with it. We're gonna say goodnight to our friends. It's been a good weekend, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Like shopping yesterday. I don't know, we just it was like a productive weekend, but we got to spend lots of time together. All of our family, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, so we just want to thank everybody for watching. And we hope everybody had a great weekend. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And Keaton. Take it away.
Thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed us vlogging you.